super super sharp, really really sharp um, on ISO 1000. I'm trying to focus on the J and it's just staying on the background completely. Subscribe to the channel to find out nothing more about Nikon, probably ever. Welcome everyone to this Nikon video. So I've been given this, which is um, a Z6 uh, II, uh, Z6 II, which I don't know anything about it. Apparently it's pretty good, so I'm going to try it out and see what I think. First thing I'm going to do is switch it on. Yep, that seemed to go okay. Uh, I've had like a little rundown, just a brief rundown on this camera, but nothing in depth at all. So uh, I should be able to find my way around it. If not, then it'll probably be entertaining for Zikon. Zikon. Nikon users, I'm thinking of Zed. I am expecting some woodpeckers, uh, but I think they tend to come a bit later. It's quite early in the morning, and they probably come maybe in another hour or so. So hopefully, I'm going to get. At least two species of woodpecker. I'm on manual exposure. Uh, if I press the I, I can get my display on the back of the screen, which is cool. Um, I'm just going to shoot as a fine JPEG because I'm a Canon user, so <laughs> I'm just going to shoot it as a JPEG and then I can do something with it and it's easier to post or email or whatever. Uh, we've got continuous shooting, I've got a high one, I've got a low one. I'm just going to go with the low one for now. And I'm on AFC, continuous autofocus. I don't tend to use that for small bird photography myself. I prefer like a, a one shot, a single shot. But with this, this all singing, all dancing camera, um, I'm going to try the AFC and see how it copes with the focus. Matrix metering, I pretty much use that anyway, so I'm just going to leave it on matrix metering, which is great. Got a little grate it on there. Um, oh damn it! Back button, back button focus. I hate back button focus. Oh my god, the focus points are dancing around everywhere. Like they're dancing around all over the shop. Where's that? Ah, okay. Right, it could be this. I've got it set on this um, auto area eh, AF, auto area autofocus for animals, and it kind of looks like. Um, a rectangular cat or like one of those oblong dogs you see walking around with a really low undercarriage. Right, I'm gonna grate it now. No. Oh, I took some shots. I didn't even hear it because it's so silent, which I'm not used to. Right, apologies. What I've realised is using that, um, what's it called again? Oh, the animal auto area AF for animals. I forgot that you've got a box and I didn't do this. Okay, so there's a white box. Um, press OK and then you get a white box come up. Okay, and you can move that box around and then you put that box onto the bird or onto the subject. I'm just going to kind of show you an example. I'm in video mode but it's pretty much the same in stills and then you get your box up yeah and then get the white box you could do it okay or probably with your fingers I just did and then it turns yellow and as I move around you see that box is trying to track the goldfinch and it's it's doing it you can see it doing it there so I'm gonna give that a proper try now oh woodpecker great spotted woodpecker Come on, let's get him Oh my god, like it just goes off. It just goes off. It's just. This is horrific. <laughs> this is horrific. Okay, I've got it locked on. Uh, it goes yellow when it's locked on. Alright, it did track it a bit. This is ridiculous. Okay, so yeah, that. That, that wasn't focusing how I wanted it, it just looked really inconsistent. Uh, but the bird's actually quite sharp. The body of the bird's quite sharp, um, but the head is moving, the head's blurred. 
it's often the case that woodpeckers are just moving around all the time um, but it's not so bad but I just didn't like the way that was working it didn't it wasn't, it wasn't like locking onto the bird for me so I'm gonna go to uh, I've got a dynamic area which is like um, kind of a middle focus point I just expanded a bit so it just kind of aids the middle focus point or the the one that you've chosen <laughs> oh my god oh my god so right so I've got a log in front where the bird is and then a reasonably clear background I've just tried to focus on the bird on the log and it just won't focus on it so it's focused on the background some of you will know this problem um, I am focusing right on the log and it is doing nothing it is staying focused on the background now I've got a marsh tit oh, I've got a beautiful marsh tit but no I couldn't get a clear shot okay um, this viewfinder is doing all sorts of weird things I'm not used to this it's very odd and there's like a lag so if I take my eye away and then I come back it's black so this probably sounds perfectly normal for Nikon mirrorless users but <laughs> there's like a lag when I put my eyes to the viewfinder it's black and then it takes I don't know like half a second to kick in um, oh god I might have got one okay yeah that's that's fine nice clean shot but god this is hard work Oh, and I haven't even thought about my exposure, so um, like I have, didn't I forgot about the exposure completely. So it's on manual. It's on auto ISO at the moment. Okay, so uh, I've got one thousandth of a second at f six point three, and it's on auto ISO. I need to take it off auto ISO, so I think I've got to go into the menu to do this. Right. ISO sensitivity settings, auto ISO off, I'm going to switch that off and then I'm going to set my ISO, okay, uh, I'm going to set my ISO to a thousand, I think that's about right, hopefully, okay so I've got my exposure meter, it's the wrong way round, what, <laughs> why is the exposure meter the wrong way round, it's plus, it's plus on this side, minus on that side, that's just backward isn't it, to me, anyway. Um, moan, moan, complain. God, oh, that lag is so annoying. What the? That seemed better. Um, yeah, that looks. Yeah, that's really sharp, really nice and sharp. Um, that works way better, just using that older style instead of the uh, the animal tracking. I've got a half inch on now. Oh, oh you, it's focused on the background again. Unbelievable, it's focusing nice now. Um, expanded focus points, it's doing okay. fantastic really lovely shot really nice sharp clean shot of a half inch um, just looks super super sharp really really sharp um, on ISO 1000 so you've probably guessed by now this is not a Nikon tutorial um, or if it is it's probably the worst one ever produced on YouTube yeah this video is by no means to say that you should only use Canon and not buy Nikon or not buy anything else I am a Canon user uh, but I just wanted to test myself today because I'm very unused to this Nikon mirrorless camera and just see how I got in and what I thought of the you know overall and the quality um, so I did like the quality of the images looks fantastic on the back of the camera uh, shooting as a fine JPEG uh, zooming in they just look really really sharp like the the feather detail in the birds looks looks superb it looks really really good and the background really out of focus really clean with this um, 500 millimeter, it's a PF 500 millimeter PF f5.6 lens. The backgrounds look really, really good, and uh, also ISO 1000. Not really seeing much noise. Like I can't see much noise in there. Again, just looking 
at the JPEGs on the back of the screen. Uh, back button focus, which I hate, and I still hate it, sorry. <laughs> but that's just the way it's set up, so I've used it on back button focus today, which is a, a real, um, yeah, a real challenge for me. And um, what I did like as well was... And what I liked as well was the sound, or rather the lack of sound. So when you're firing, it was just making very slight noise, which is fantastic for any wildlife photography, really. Now, what I didn't like, um, obviously just finding my way around the camera, that's just because I don't know the camera. But the the animal autofocus tracking, which I tried, now it did work some of the time, to be fair. It did work sometimes, and you could see it tracking the head around. But then sometimes it just it just didn't seem to keep up, like it wasn't quite sticky enough. Uh, I felt like it was losing the bird sometime and I just didn't feel as confident. I just didn't feel as confident that it was working reliably for me. So I went back to my old style of shooting with um, I used an expanded focus point with one and then just I think nine around the outside and used my old style of photography. Uh, all continuous focus though for, for these small birds today. And that was nailing it. You know, I was focusing on the head and that was just nailing it almost every time. I didn't really have any problems. So, uh, yeah, good good and bad. Uh, quite light as well. I felt the, the weight of it, it's compared to my other stuff. I would say yeah, it's uh, it's very reasonable weight. It's, I don't feel like it's heavy at all. Um, so, yeah, give me my DX back because I hate this thing. <laughs> But yeah, please give me give me my Canon DX back because I just don't like using this. And that's not because it's a bad camera. I've just said what I do like and what I don't like. But I'm just look, really looking forward to getting my uh, my Canon back. Everything just seems simpler. Uh, there's a lag as well. I didn't like that lag. You maybe can switch that off, but there's a lag. Uh, there is when you put your eyes to the viewfinder. There's a lag there. I guess that's because it's mirrorless. You know, I don't get that. And it's like that's like half a second that you've lost. I don't like that. I don't like to lose any time. I don't want any lags. Um, and I like to be in control. I'm a bit of a control freak with my photography to some extent. Um, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give us a thumbs down. But it doesn't matter because YouTube's taking it off. So I don't know who doesn't like the video anyway. So it doesn't matter. Um, if you've enjoyed this video and you're thinking of getting your own Canon Z6II, no, Nikon Z6II, then uh, subscribe to the channel to find out nothing more about Nikon, probably ever. Uh, but subscribe to the channel for more photography videos and hopefully entertaining videos as well, if you like people being frustrated by different brands of cameras. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll be back in the UK. <laughs> hopefully I'll be back in the UK. Hopefully, like the plane's going to get cancelled, maybe it will, you never know. But um, the next video is probably going to be back in the UK. I'm in Bulgaria for a bit longer yet. Um, but the next video hopefully will be getting on for spring, spring photography back home. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you somewhere around an unfamiliar camera sometime soon. I can't, I, I can't even figure out how to delete a picture. <laughs>